Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we will discuss a new topic and it is a very small topic. It's called Reynolds disease. I hope some of you have an idea about this condition. Uh, I have seen that some questions are coming from this area, uh, not only in plus R and some of other exams also. So we'll just have an idea about this one and we'll discuss one question also. So let us start. What do you mean by Reynolds disease? Oh, what, it is a very simple disease but the complications and the related signs and symptoms would be very severe if not treated at the proper time. It is a vasospasm of the arterioles, arteries of upper and lower extremities. In the picture you can see, it most commonly affect the woman aged between 15 and 14 years of year. year. Like uh, uh, other People also will get the condition, it's the disease, but the more incidents uh, usually seen the woman age between the 40, 15 and 14 years of age. And then there is we call a Reynolds phenomenon. It's a vasospatic disorder resulting in an episodic vascular response related to cold temperature or emotional stress. So when this one will occur, uh, like especially uh, the client will expose to severe cold uh, situations or uh, there is an emotional stress, so that will exacerbate the condition. And the versus person induce a characteristic color change in the appendages, which means that when this condition or when the versus person will occur, we can see how the uh, client uh, the lower and upper extremity or the affected part will be look like it's like a, a periodic change the first is the hand if we take the hand first it will be like a whitish uh, a white a slight white foam then it will uh, move it to a slightly uh, a bluish color which means that a lack of oxygen which means a cyanosis when the white means there is a lack of uh, blood flow that's why it's coming as a force it's like a white then it will turn to slight uh, bluish which means there is a lack of oxygen supply or cyanosis then it will turn to a reddened color when the blood flow returns so that is the periodic change that we can see in the client and especially the main area uh, we can see this like uh, fingers toes or ears and nose okay so that is the um, some of the common the basic things about the Reynolds phenomenon and how the Reynolds uh, like a disease and what are the areas it affected and what is the main cause factor then we should assess for the blanching of extremity we said that it will turn to red at time so the blanching of the extremity then the when vasospasm spasm is relieved there is a uh, chance of numbness tingling uh, then also uh, sometimes uh, the client they will expose to very severe cold climatic situations that will exacerbate this condition. So the main attacks are triggered by exposure to cold, nicotine, caffeine, trauma to the fingertips and stress. So when one of the situations it will be more uh, trigger or more exacerbate especially exposed to cold there is a use of nicotine or caffeine then emotional stress and there is any injury or trauma to the fingertips so is that clear now we will see some of the interventions what are the main interventions the uh, multi four pulses the diminished or absent peripheral pulse we should look how the pulse whether it is diminished or absent then acute vasospasm are treated by immersing the hands in warm water so when this uh, situation occur, occur uh, we should instruct the client to immerse the hand in the warm water not heat water should think that one because some questions the options they will give heat water it is different it should be slightly warm water should immerse the hand to uh, recover from that acute vasospasm then administer vasodilators as prescribed then instruct the client to avoid precipitating factors we said that what are the precipitating factors stress cold so those precipitating factors try to avoid 
then no smoking because the nicotine then instruct the client to avoid injuries because that also will exacerbate the condition then uh, while the uh, client is uh, handling any food from the fridge especially the cold food she should uh, you, he or she should use the gloves before touching or handling the cold food or cold objects then the some of the health teaching like uh, dress in warm layers particularly in cold weather especially if the client is exposing or living in a cold climatic situation try to uh, use some of the extra layer or warm layer cloths then avoid extremes and abrupt changes in temperature then avoid vasoconstricting drugs example cocaine amphetamines egotamine and pseudoepidrine so these type of vasoconstricting drugs should be avoided if the client is uh, admitted with any other condition in the hospital and if the uh, doctors uh, or any if he is uh, like uh, um, prescribed with any medication he should the client should uh, give the all the uh, problem about the client so they will not use any of the vasoconstricting drugs then avoid excessive caffeine intake because we said that that is also a uh, precipitating factor or causative agent then refrain from use of tobacco products which means smoking then implement stress management strategies uh, like uh, the stress or the emotional uh, like escalation is a main precipitating factor to predispose this condition so instruct the client to manage uh, his stress or emotional problems by example yoga or tai chi so some kind of these relaxation methods or therapies would help him to manage his stress effectively so these are the some points related to the uh, Reynolds disease and phenomenon and how to manage what are the instructions or what are the health education should give to the client uh, to prevent the further occurrence. I'll see one question. The nurse is teaching a client diagnosed with the Reynolds phenomenon about ways to prevent recurrent episodes. Which instructions should the nurse include? Select all that template. Okay, select all that apply question and the question it asks what all the things the nurse should teach a client to prevent the further occurrence of or the recurrent episode of a Reynolds phenomenon. We have already studied some uh, interventions and health education points. We'll see the options. Option 1 says avoid excessive coffee. Does that ever answer? Yes, of course, because we said that uh, should limit the intake of caffeine or caffeinated products. So option one is our answer that she should teach the client. Then immerse hand in cool water. What we studied, the client should immerse hand in warm water to uh, recover from the acute vasospasm. So option two is wrong. Option 3. Practice yoga or Tai Chi. Okay, that is the correct answer because we said that the client should practice some of the therapies or the techniques to recover or manage the emotional stress. Then option 4. Refrain from using tobacco products. That is also a correct statement because smoking also a precipitating factor and nicotine also a factor. So refrain from using tobacco products or smoking then the last option is uh, play gloves when handling cold objects that is also correct we said that especially if the client is using any uh, food items cold food items from the fridge or handling any cold object she should wear a gloves she should use a gloves so it will not affect that much so what all are answers option one option three then option 4, option 5. Yeah, we have 4 options are correct and only the wrong option is option 2. Because that here they said it's cold water. Actually, the client should immerse the hand in warm water. So, does that clear? So, this much about Reynolds disease. So, please uh, practice and just refresh the ideas what is in your mind. And uh, all the best to everybody. Prepare well and do well your exams. Bye-bye.